Hi, my name is George. I'm a leadership consultant working in London. I was asked by Unveiled to share a story of overcoming a professional or personal challenge. And so I want to share a journey um, that's kind of two in one, really, of about 10 years ago when I moved to the other side of the world. Um, I was by myself and uh, had to overcome some pretty deep insecurities that I had about um, moving to a place where I didn't really speak the language very well at all and uh, had to build up a lot of resilience and uh, learn quite a lot about myself. I, I hope that it can maybe inspire somebody perhaps to take their own step forward in their journey. So yeah, imagine this. I um, was kind of about 20 years old and decided to make this major life change and, and move to South America, to Chile, uh, for a fantastic work opportunity in, in international consulting. Um, the only catch was my spoken Spanish at the time was far from fluent. And uh, I was entering a world where communication was key. So I had every reason to doubt myself. Uh, the language barrier seemed to be like an enormous obstacle to success. But I believed in myself and my, and my potential to adapt and to learn and had to remind myself as often as I could um, that, you know, it's not about where you start, it's, it's how you finish. So while I certainly felt imposter syndrome uh, at times, especially in the early days, I didn't want to let that negative thinking, you know, get in the way of me making the most out of this great opportunity for growth and to, to learn. So uh, I had to look for the people and the places uh, proactively where I felt like I could belong and then stop worrying too much about when people uh, might judge me and, and what they might be thinking of me when I couldn't communicate myself very well. Uh, so there were certainly moments where it was a bit embarrassing, sure. Um, but I had to just kind of try and get over that and um, got pretty good at it over time, I suppose. At, at work, uh, I actively sought out the colleagues who could help me practice the language. Uh, you know, people that became my allies who guided me through the nuances of, of Chilean Spanish uh, and helped me to gain confidence. And, and together then we would share stories and laughs that transcended the language. And it showed me that that, that kindness and that openness and, and willingness to learn can bridge any gap. And beyond the office, out uh, you know, um, in, in other places, I, I made a conscious effort as well to connect with the locals. So I joined clubs attended language exchange events, um, you know, went out for drinks and uh, uh, made up, uh, you know, made, made some few friends that, that kind of became my unofficial language tutors. And, and their patience and encouragement were un invaluable uh, for me. So, um, yeah, by really putting myself out there and accepting some level of vulnerability, I was able to uh, build these wonderful relationships, um, many of which have lasted to this day. And gradually, my fluency improved. Um, it wasn't overnight, obviously, but the, you know there were uh, certainly moments of frustration. But I kept pushing forward, and every day I just tried to embrace those challenges as opportunities to grow. And knowing that every time I stumbled was just a, a you know another messy step on that path path to more fluency. So um, yeah, I, I tried to remember this uh, quote by Nelson Mandela that courage isn't the absence of fear, but it's the triumph over it. And, uh, you know, really try and live by that to this day. So, uh, you know, friends, whenever we're faced with a challenge that seems like it, it could be a complete showstopper, try and remember self-belief can be your greatest asset. Um, so don't let fear hold you back. Uh, you know, with determination and a little sprinkle of openness, uh, you can conquer anything in your path. And as Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it.